By definition, nanoparticles are solid particles with a size in the range of 1 to 100 nanometer. Therefore, nanomaterial is a class of materials with at least one of the dimensions in the nanometric range. For example metals, ceramics, polymers or composites. Next, nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is not just a simple continuation of miniaturization from micrometer scale down to nanometer scale. Materials in the micrometer scale mostly have the same physical properties as the bulk form, but, materials in the nanometer scale, have completely different physical properties from the bulk material. Next, we proceed to the types of nanostructures, first is 0D nanostructure, zero-dimensional nanostructure also known as nanoparticle and quantum dots. Top-down and bottom-up techniques can be used to synthesis nanoparticles. Examples of top-down and bottom-up approaches are as mentioned in the slide. Bottom-up approaches are far more popular compared to top-down approaches because a lot of bottom-up methods have been developed. Second is 1D. One-dimensional nanostructures can be called a lot of names such as whiskers, fibers or fibrils, nanowires and nanorods. Generally, nanorods are shorter compared to nanowires. Nanowires also have a higher aspect ratio than nanorods. There are four techniques to synthesis 1D nanostructured material as mentioned in the slide. Two-dimensional nanostructure is thin film. The most famous example is graphene sheet. Film growth methods can be generally divided into two groups, vapor phase deposition, and liquid base growth. Example of vapor phase deposition is molecular beam epitaxy. You can read examples in the slide here as I only have two minutes for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification button below for more videos.